Hey guys, Jedi270 here. This is one of the last videos I'm going to do on this gun as it is complete. This is the King Arms GHK GBB conversion. And if you didn't catch the other video I did, let's talk about what I've done to this gun. Basically, I've taken a 12 inch Mad Bull outer barrel, put that in there. The inner barrel is a Prometheus 6.01 type bore with the stock GHK hop up and GHK rubber, which uh, I plan on putting reaps in it before too long. Um, externally, with the exception of the uh, Mad Bull outer barrel, we have the UTG gas block. This is the quad rail gas block that I picked up from BG Airsoft for $29.99. And on the back, it is wearing the CAA Command Arms uh, stock saddle. And there is its packaging. And you know, to talk about this thing real quick, it, it holds, um, I think, six uh, CR123A batteries and I think up to three or four AA batteries. Um, it's extremely lightweight and one of the things that that's what I was trying to stay with I put the um, Sima Sop Mod crane stock on this thing and it just wouldn't ride up and down that buffer tube very well So I decided to go ahead and order the stock saddle. I'd seen it several times and uh, Finally pulled the trigger on that and I'm glad I did uh, It basically just clips over top of your LE stock and it comes with two uh, sling mount sl uh, slots there on the back which are right here okay it has those and then um, one thing I noticed in a lot of pictures it had a big fat CAA molded into it right here I didn't like that and I was like man you know I can see me being on the field and somebody saying hey is that your initials <laughs> be like god that would get annoying after a while um, no it's uh, you can barely make it out uh, it's made out of nylon fiber. It's absolutely beautiful stock saddle. Fits on there nice and snug. Uh, it's just completely awesome. So that's the it. I think I paid like $25 or $26 for that. Riding on the top is the MOE Embus from Magpul. These are not the PTS version. Um, those are the real steel. I like to put real steel stuff on these guns every chance I get. Uh, now on the top, you guys have seen that EOTech before. That's the GMP 553QD. And it used to be flat dark earth. Now it is two-tone olive drab and black to uh, go along with everything else. So the pistol grip is completely stock. Um, I wanted to put some mag pull on there. But being that it's a motor grip, it's got just enough girth that when you're holding on to it, it's got a good palm swell to it. It feels good, and there's just really no need to spend the money on it. Um, I just I just didn't see the need. On the front, we have a Noveski KFH amplifier. That is the Flaming Hog. Um, I think I paid like maybe $36 or something like that uh, at BG Airsoft. And... Um, Man, it really, I was never really a big fan of how it looked. And I've seen it for years on videos on AEGs. And to be quite honest with you, I really couldn't tell the difference in the sound. You know, you still get the AEG whine, and uh, that's one of my biggest blech to AEGs. But uh, basically, when I put it on a gas blowback, it's completely just loud. And it, it brings a smile to your face. So you got the recoil plus you got that thing on the front. It's amazing. Um, if any of you guys out there watching this video and you have that amplifier on your GBBR, please comment on it. I mean, you guys know like I do, it's incredible. I'm going to fire off another couple rounds with it here in a minute on dry fire so you guys can hear it. But keep in mind, the speakers on the phone have noise reduction. So it's not going to be like Uber loud there where it is very loud in person it has a standard ghk mag which i have finished in od green and uh, i even went as far as the back uh sling mount back here i've done that in od green i left the le stock black but i did took it apart and i made the uh, adjustment latch 
in OD green, the stock saddle OD green, the uh, waterproof plugs for the battery compartment are still black. Um, I don't want to paint the uh, the Troy dual sling mount uh, black, uh, OD green because it has some pretty decent trademarks on it. Now the EOTech did have EOTech up here, but it was very light in the flat dark earth. It almost you had to strain to see it, so it was no big loss for me to paint that. Um, back here where it says for law enforcement military use, uh, basically I'll tell you a really neat trick. Some of you probably already know, you can take a white, you know, basically any color. I wished I'd had a black one, but my son didn't have one, a uh, crayon. And you just color in that laser etching and then take a razor blade to the surface and get the excess off because it won't, it, the paint won't adhere where that is. And then uh, once you take the hair dryer to it or the paint gun to it, it melts most of that out. But I used a color pencil and I used a yellow. So it gives you that military, that old school military yellow uh, look to it. I, I really like how it turned out. And I wanted it to be two-tone and I'm sick of flat dark earth and black. And I thought, you know, my boy Pussy Lover is a huge fan of OD Green. So dude, this bud's for you, brother. That's why I did it. Uh, this is in honor of my good friend, Pussy Lover, one of the senior armorers over at Gas Armory. Um, I just thought, you know what, let's just let's do it to it. So my original thought was to make the lower OD green or the upper. But then I thought, you know what, nah. But I still may go back and make all my external controls OD green, like my selector switch and my buffer lock and my uh, mag release. It may go into an OD green. But the uh, on the other part of it here, these are Knight's Armament Real Steel rail covers, and I have three of those. Um, why do I have three? Because the only thing I run on my weapons is attack light. Forget the lasers, forget all the fancy doodads. All I need is attack light, a buttload of ammo, and some water, and I'm a happy camper. So on the other side, I have two Magpul XTM rail covers, two sets in OD green. And then I cut one of the Knight's Armaments in half and mounted it on the top behind the EOTech. So, uh, well, behind the front sight post. So basically, my son's probably getting ready to come through this garage and mess this video up. But basically, that's, uh, that's what's on there. Oh, and I forgot. I mentioned in another video, the Delta ring that comes on this thing is so freaking weird. And the barrel nut is so alien to me because it's AEG. Um, but what I did was I just put a real steel barrel nut and a real steel delta on there. Um, I like it a whole heck of a lot better. So uh, let's pop some rounds off and you guys can get one last sound out of it. And it will go in the rack in its place of honor. Let's get it off a of safe. Get over here where we can see it. And I still got a, uh, these XTM still have to be tightened down. Uh, let's see. Well, I didn't put a lot of gas in it, did I? Hold that thought. The gas bottle's been cold, but the mag was warm. That might have something to do with it. Uh, let's see. That's another reason you got to charge it, charging handle, or you'll blow gas out. Now I still the, the gas is too cold. Shoot, hold on. This is something that happens. So I'll give you guys some kind of an idea. Uh, that is the GHK Conversion King Arms. You can buy this at BG Airsoft for $260. Comes with one mag. So uh, with that being said, guys, I thank you all for watching. I appreciate you hanging out with me for a while and taking a look at my new toy. Pussy lover, dude. Hope you like that. That's all you, baby.
Y'all have a good one. Have a blessed day.